Hey peeps, what's up, Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can root your Google Pixel 8, the Google Pixel 8 Pro, the Google Pixel 7, or the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Now, do note, all the relevant links are in the description of the video. Now, what are the prerequisites? Well, for starters, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 10 or 20%. Then, you will need access to a computer or some other phone which will let you send fast boot commands next up you will need an unlocked bootloader now do note unlocking the bootloader we have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of the video and the next very important question which i will get is will i lose my data it depends if your bootloader is already unlocked then routing is not going to result in loss of any data or a factory reset on your pixel 8 the pixel 8 pro the pixel 7 or the pixel 7 pro however if you are going to unlock your bootloader for the first time that is going to result in data loss so make sure you do have a backup of all the things and anything important which you have on your device now i will be doing this process on my google pixel 7 but the steps will remain exactly the same on the pixel 7 pro the pixel 7 the pixel 8 and the google pixel 8 pro first thing we need to do is we need to go to the google play store and here we're going to search for an application called fx file explorer and we are going to install this why are we using fx file explorer we are doing this because this is an application which will let you install apks on your device and also unzip files so we have successfully installed fx file explorer next up you need is magisk so magisk i recommend you download it from the official github page of magisk you will land on a page like this and here and if you go to the downloads section you will notice that we have magisk version 26.3 which is the latest at the time of recording this video and we're going to select that you will land up on another page this is magisk version 26.3 go to the assets section if it is not already expanded you can expand it by tapping on the arrow and the apk which we need is magisk version 26.3 if chrome gives you a warning we're going to say download anyway now once the file has downloaded successfully we can go to our home screen next thing we need is we need the factory fast boot flashable firmware for our version and our security patch of android which we are running on our pixel so for that we will go into settings and then go to the settings main page go into about phone and once you're in the about phone page go into android version here it is this is my build number you need to note this down and you can always press and hold on the build number and you will get the option of copying it so now this build number has been copied to my clipboard next thing i need i need the fast boot rom so i will go into chrome and there is another link in the description of the video which will take you to factory images for nexus and pixel devices and if you scroll down you might have to agree to the terms and conditions so we're going to say acknowledge once you have acknowledged that you will see a menu on top and on this page this is the text tap on the arrow right besides that and these here are the factory images for your devices so husky is pixel 8 pro shiba is pixel 8 and then for the pixel 7 pro you have cheetah and pixel 7 is panthers so here you need to select the device which you want to root in my case this is the pixel 7 if you're doing it for the pixel 8 pro the pixel 8 or the pixel 7 pro select that so let us select panther so here it is this is the heading panther for pixel 7 and now here and you need to scroll down and look for your build number so here it is this is my build number this is the one which we had copied and we need to download this zip file so you can select the link option and that is going to download this zip file onto your device next thing we need to do is we will open fx file explorer and for the license we're going to say accept and then if you want fx file manager to let you send notifications you can say allow i personally say don't allow and for this fx file manager plus version i say i do not want the trial i uncheck it and i say okay now on the bottom you will see something which says enable access because it does need 
explicit access to your storage so we're going to say enable access and then select fx and then enable the toggle and now we can go back and at this point we are on the main page of fx file explorer the application has full access to all the files we will select main storage and then we will go into download here in you will notice we have our magisk and we also have our full factory firmware for the google pixel 7 this is android 14 tap on the three dots on the top right and we're going to change the view to list just makes it easier next up we need to extract this zip file which is your android 14 firmware for the google pixel 7 so we're going to press and hold make sure it is highlighted and selected then select the three dots on the top right and then we're going to say open with here we're going to select archive extractor these are the contents of this file so three dot menu on the top right one more time and say extract here once the extract process has finished successfully we have a folder with the same name as that of the zip we will go inside this folder we have another folder go inside that and then we have another zip file which we need to unzip so we're going to follow the same process press and hold to select three dot menu on the top right open with archive extractor three dot menu on the top right one more time and say extract here now once the extract process has finished successfully we have another folder we're going to select this and here in the file which we are looking for the file which we need to patch to root our pixel 7 the pixel 7 pro the pixel 8 or the pixel 8 pro is init underscore boot dot img so we're going to press and hold this file and once you do that you have a menu on the top so the button right beside the scissors is the one to copy so we're going to copy it and then you can go back to your downloads folder so here it is i will select downloads and then tap on one copied and i am going to select paste so now my init underscore boot is in the download folder next thing we need to do is we need to install the magisk apk so we're going to select this and you do need to let fx file manager install apks on your device so we'll go into settings enable this toggle and then for the pop-up to install magisk we are going to say install at this point magisk app is being installed onto our device we can select done and now if i go to my home screen or to my application drawer we can open magisk and again do you want magisk to send you notifications a personal preference i say don't allow and you will notice that magisk here is saying not applicable this means that our device is not rooted we have just installed the magisk app onto our pixel 7 which in no way is the equivalent of rooting your 7 the 7 pro the pixel 8 or the pixel 8 pro so over here we're going to select install which is right besides magisk and now the method is select and patch a file this is going to open your file explorer now tap on the three bars on the top left and also known as the hamburger menu and then select your device in my case it is the pixel 7 so this is my internal storage i will go into download and you can change the view by tapping on this icon so here it is the file which we need to patch is init underscore boot so we're going to select this and then say let's go at this point magisk is patching this file and once the process has finished successfully it is telling me all done now if i go into my fx file explorer or fx file manager go into the download folder you will notice i have magisk patched image file over here at this point what you need to do is you need to connect your pixel 7 the pixel 7 pro the pixel 8 or the pixel 8 pro to a computer and transfer the magisk patched image file and the stock in it underscore boot image file to your computer so here it is we are on the computer now once you're on the computer you need your latest adb and fast food and this is where you need to get it from developer.android.com slash tools slash releases slash platform tools and i am doing this on a mac so i will download sdk platform tools for mac if you're doing it on windows download it for windows similarly for linux now do note if you are on windows you will have to install the drivers for adb and fast boot and how do you do that video for that can be found in the description of this video so here it is this is the folder wherein i have my platform tools which has adb and fast boot then i also connected my pixel 7 to the computer transferred the files over here so this here is the magisk patched init underscore boot and this here is the stock init underscore boot next up we are going to unzip this platform 
tools and once that is done if i go inside this folder i have adb over here and i also have fastboot over here next thing you need to do is you need to connect your phone to the computer by booting it into fastboot mode or bootloader mode the process is different for different devices for a google pixel all you need to do is restart your device so you swipe down twice on your status bar you will get the power button you select reboot as soon as the screen goes black you press and hold volume down and you will boot into fast boot or bootloader mode once that is done go ahead and connect your device to the computer using a usb type c cable next thing we need to do is mac and linux users need to open terminal in this platform tools folder so for me on my mac i right click on the folder i say new terminal add folder if you are running windows all you have to do is go inside the folder then tap on the address bar make sure everything is highlighted and selected then delete everything type in cmd press the enter key and that is going to open command prompt in this platform tools folder so for mac and linux users if i do pwd over here it is telling me the current or the present working directory and if i do ls space hyphen al i'm getting the contents so as you can see i have adb and i have fastboot similarly if you're using command prompt you can type dir space slash p that is also going to show you the contents of your folder the first command which we're going to type in over here is to check whether our pixel 7 over here is being detected in fastboot mode or not and the command for that is fastboot space devices mag and linux users do need to enter dot slash before the command and then if i press enter bam there it is you can see that my device is being detected in fast boot mode next thing we need to do is we need to flash our patched and it underscore boot whatever you had patched so the command for that is fast boot space flash space in it underscore boot space and then all you need to do is drag and drop your patched in it underscore boot image that is it then you can press the right arrow key on the keyboard so this here is our command and then all you need to do is press the enter key and bam there it is you can see it is telling me sending in it underscore boot underscore a in your case it might be in it underscore boot underscore b and as you can see everything finished successfully next thing all you need to do is reboot your device and the command for that is fast boot space reboot and then we're going to press the enter key as soon as we do that our device over here the google pixel 7 is going to reboot now at this point feel free to disconnect your phone from the computer so here it is we have booted back into android and let me unlock our device we will go into magisk and this time around you can see it is not telling me magisk is not installed it is telling me magisk is installed version is 26.3 this means i have successfully rooted my google pixel 7 over here which is running android 14 now let us say in case your device does not reboot you're stuck in a boot loop what do you do then in that case you will first have to boot your phone back into fast boot mode so if you're in a boot loop just press and hold power and volume down till you see fast boot mode then connect it to the computer and then we need to flash your stock init underscore boot so you'll do fast boot flash in my case i will do init underscore boot and then drag and drop the stock init underscore boot and then press the enter key once that is done go ahead and do fast boot reboot and you should be back into your android operating system which is android 14 of course you would be unrooted and then you'll have to do some due diligence and research as to why the routing process failed for you but this is the process which i have been using to root my pixel devices my poco devices the oneplus devices this is the process which has worked absolutely fine and there it is peeps that is how you root your pixels which is running android 14